This may be one of the most crucial things that's going on right now. A lie is not partisan. Reporting on a lie as a lie is not bias. And it seems more important now than ever to make that distinction. But how do we in the media impart that? Well, I think it's been, it's been a challenging time because as journalists, we're used to covering issues. You know, one side has this thought on immigration, the other has this thought on the economy or whatever it is. We're used to that. What we're not used to is having to cover um, behavior as a whole different lane. Um, behavior that's you know, it's contrary to everything we've ever really seen uh, in an administration. And, you know, it doesn't come easy. It's not what we want to do. It doesn't come easy to call out, you know, inconsistencies or, you know, bold place untruths, um, you know, coming from a, from a president. And that's a separate lane. Um, but we've got, we've got to cover it. Um, you know, I, I think sometimes people, you know, they look at it and they see it's some form of media bias. But it's incumbent upon us to report the truth and where there are inconsistencies or where things, you know, don't jive. We have to call that out. That's what we do as journalists. And I think that in some instances we've sort of stepped up our game, you know, and I think we've had to. Yeah, I think this is, I, I said in my speech, this is a great time to be a journalist. I mean, listen, the country's going to... It's a great time to be an anchor. It's a great time to be an anchor. I mean, it's, um, you know, these, the stories are rich and they're important. As I said, you know, right now we're watching, you know, you know the House go down the road toward impeachment. That's a big, big <laughs> deal. And we have the front row It's as row big seat. a political story as there it's is. It's as big as it gets. And, and we're going to be there for it. I mean, this is what, um, you know, as I would say, our time has come. I mean, uh, this, is, this is big stuff. We've, you know, we've come off the, the Mueller investigation. You know, our, our relationships with, uh, with allies are changing. There's, there's just a lot going on. And people can make political judgments, and that's fine, and we'll cover that. Um, but but we've, got to, you know, we've got to be at the forefront of helping people understand these these shifts that are happening. We shouldn't, we shouldn't find glee. Sometimes our excitement on a rich story can be mistaken for glee, and we've got to be careful of that, especially in this environment, that you know, we're not rooting for a particular side. But because this is what we do, when the big story breaks, it's, I, I liken it sometimes, you know, uh, you know, firemen don't wish for five alarm fires, but if there's going to be one, they kind of want to be there. You want to be on duty that day. It, it, yes. And you it, want to be there because this is what you're trained for, and, and you, you know, you, you prepare in, um, any number of metaphors to, to come to that same idea that this is this is big stuff. This is a you know time to drop what you're doing and, and get in there. Is it a fun gig? It is. It is. Um, it's like you have a front row seat to the world. I mean that sounds really corny, but I just uh, I love I love getting out of the anchor desk. I love traveling. Um, I, I love hearing people's stories. I love honoring their stories. I would not be much of a newsman myself if I didn't ask you about what's currently going on at NBC and everything. Is, yeah. it, is it a distraction to you at all? You're not implicated in anything? No, but I mean, you're no not a distraction. Uh, it's, um, first of all, everybody, you know, any, every news person hates being in the news you know, for a negative person. So it's very hurtful. And it's, and it, and it, you know, it's very hurtful to have you know, the core of what we do, our journalism, our integrity, uh, uh, attacked or questioned, I think is a better way of, uh, a better way of putting it. Um, you know, I'm proud I work in an organization that commissioned uh, that story in the first place because it was an inc uh, important story and a difficult one to, to tell. Uh, I'm proud I work for an organization that in the face of the, the backlash and the criticism, we boldly reported the story, which is really, you know, on our newscast, right up, you know, uh, near the front of the newscast, you know, reporting the, you know, the accusations and, and you know, the, the explanations, if you will. Um, so, you know, but, it, but it, listen, it's not been fun, not no. at all.